Hey, GED students. I had a student, Justin, email me at lightandsaltlearning at gmail.com with this tricky example from the ex uh, advanced level practice, sorry, the advanced level practice of the solving two-step equations uh, lesson on the crash course. So this one I'm thinking is intimidating him because of the negatives and the fractions. I mean, usually we just freeze up. GED students tend to just freeze up at the sight of this. But I have super, super, super good news for you. And that is that you actually, the algebra you have to do for this is so simple. And because this is a an example of uh, an equation that we're solving, you would get a G GED calculator for this when you go to take it on the test. So I'm going to use my calculator uh, for any calculations I need to do. It'll handle the tricky. I just need to handle the opposites, the inverses, right? How we solve, how we isolate a variable is to use opposites, use inverses to get the letter alone, to isolate the variable as we call it. Now it tricks some students when the variable's on the right hand side. So I'm going to draw that nice line through the equal sign so I can differentiate between the left and the right hand side there. And so in order for m to be alone, I got to get rid of this 3, this 5, and this 7. And the question is, which should I take away first? And remember, when we are isolating, when we are moving things away, undoing math, if you will, we actually work the order of operations backwards. Um, so you move anything that's adding or subtracting with M first. And I can see that indeed um, this 7 is adding with this whole grouping that M's in. And so I'm going to move that 7 first. Okay, so I will do that. I will subtract away the 7. Now remember, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both expressions here. So I'm going to jump across the equal sign and do it on the left-hand side as well. And let's see, after we make that change to both the left and right hand side of our equation, what our new equation will be. So type this into your calculator. If you struggle with negatives, but you're going to type the negative button and then two and then minus seven. And um, when it's in front of a number, you have to use the negative button. When it's between two numbers, you have to use the minus button. That's a little tricky. So negative two minus seven is negative nine. And that's going to be equal to uh, whatever happens on the right hand side. And look, this is nice. The add 7 and the subtract 7 are opposites. They cancel. So all I'm left with is the 3m over 5. Now you might be saying to me, Kate, hey, that's not nice. It's still a fraction. I hate fractions. And quite frankly, I don't like you very much right now either. <laughs> all right. Um, but remember that the day we got the equal sign, the day we got equations, was the day we got the power to get rid of fractions. Uh, one way to think about this over five is divided by five. And we can get rid of any math we want, including divided by five, by using the opposites. So the opposite of dividing by five is multiplying by five. So I'm going to take this entire right hand side and enclose it in parentheses so that I can multiply it by five. Now, I can do whatever I want, again, to an equation as long as I do it to both the expressions. So I'm also going to hop across the equal sign, enclose that side in parentheses, and multiply the left-hand side by 5 as well. And now let's see what our new equation will be after making that change. Again, you can do this in your calculator. If you do it, you're going to type 5. You can use the times button, that's fine, or you can use the parentheses. But then again, you need the negative key there that's in uh, down at the bottom by enter and then 9 and you'll find out that 5 times negative 9 is negative 45. Now that's not the side that usually freaks students out too much. They look at that other side and they go, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to multiply this fraction? And if you say that, you guys, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Uh, multiplying by 5 and dividing by 5 are opposites. They cancel. You don't have to do jack. <laughs> it's gone. And the only thing that's left over there is the 3m, and this is just getting easier and easier here. Now I want to isolate that m. I've got to separate the 3 and the m. They are shoved together, so right now they're multiplying. I'll do the opposite. We always do opposites to get rid of things. I'll divide away the three. Now again, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides. So I'll hop across the equal sign, divide by three on that side as well. And again, use your calculator if you want to. Negative, you're going to use the negative key down by enter. 45 divided by three, the calculator will tell you that's negative 15. And then, of course, on that right-hand side, multiplying and dividing by 3 are opposites. They cancel. M's alone just like I wanted. As soon as M's alone, this sucker is 
solved. What would M have to be to make the original equation true? Well, M would have had to have been negative 15. You solved the mystery. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments. Happy learning.